Nico Valley and Naperville Central jockeying for position in the Illinois West Division standings. The Wildcats just one point ahead of the Red Hawks. Both teams know how to put the puck in the back of the net, each with 99 goals scored on the season. Nico getting the first scoring chance of the game. Connor Smith with the pass in front to Lucas Zardini, but Cody Horvath there to make the save. He had 34 on the night. Second period, Ryan Brooks with speed into the zone, takes a big hit from Ethan Hayhurst. Kevin Wedoff puts the loose puck on net, but Brandon Boy stands his ground for the save, finishing with 17 in the game. At the 10 minute mark of the second, Ryan Brooks with the shot on goal. Looks like the deflection off Daniel Metamorse is about to go in, but Thomas Hood with the heads up play to keep the puck out of the net. Three minutes later, Ryan Rutherford gets the Wildcats on the scoreboard with this nifty little stick handling and one-handed shot as he hits the ice. His teammates appreciate the effort and the one goal lead. And that opens up the floodgates for NV. Just a minute later, Reed Martin tries to dance around Zach Hill, loses the puck, but the X Factor, Thomas Factor, makes it 2 0. Less than a minute left in the sandwich stanza, Martin stays on his skates after the check, finds a streaking Ryan Viola, Horvath with no chance, 3 0 heading to the third. Early in the third, Kill with the perfect saucer pass to Ryan Brooks, but Envy pushes him off the puck. He stays with the play, somehow putting this no-look pass in front of the net for Jake Worley, cutting into the lead. Midway through the period, Red Hawks lose track of the puck. Horvath caught in no man's land, and Lucas Zardini takes advantage to make it 4-1, his second point of the night. Wildcats trying to salt this one away with another two-on-one. Smith to Viola for his second goal of the game. Smith's third assist, and Miqua gets the big two points in the standings. Basically, uh, they got the puck down in the corner, and they sent it across. It went through my goalie's legs and bounced off something and went right close to the goal line, so I just swatted at it and knocked it out of the net. We knew we were playing well. We just had to get credit to the, credit to the goalie because he was just making outstanding saves. We had a lot of shots on net. We were moving the puck well. Good time spent in the attacking zone. Um, we just had to um, uh, finish when we needed to. This time, you know, before the game, we were just talking as a team, saying, just trying to keep it under control, trying to keep it disciplined. Playoffs are coming up. We don't need any kids getting suspended or anything like that. And we just wanted to have a fun, clean game tonight. Yeah, we were down five on three. Um, always penalty kills. Uh, they always change the momentum. It's, it's hard to play when you're down and everything. And Ethan was in the corner over there in the defensive zone. He chipped up the boards to Ryan Viola. We had a good I'm in break two on one. Ryan just sauced it over to the center, and then I put it up in top right corner. 